Welcome back to the Super Memory for Schools program. My name is Wen Yu. Today we'll learn a new lesson. It's English Grade 11, Nature in Danger, New Vocabulary Section. Now let's look at the mind map here. Our lesson includes three main parts. The first one is about the causes and the reason why our nature is in danger. And the second one is about the consequences and the bad results that we have to deal with. After learning about the causes and the consequences, We'll learn about the measures and what we are going to do to protect our nature. Now, let's learn more about the details of each part. As I have introduced to you at the beginning of the lesson, the first part will be the reason why our nature is in danger. There are three main reasons. The first one is that we are changing the environment and weather conditions by building cities. We are changing the environment and weather conditions by building cities and houses where forests once stood. The second reason is that we affect the water supply by using it for industry. In this sentence, there is one new word, which is industry. It means the production of goods from raw materials, especially in factories. That is the meaning of the word industry. Please pay attention to this word. It is stressed on the first syllable and we pronounce it as industry. When we turn it into an adjective, the stress syllable is also changed and it's pronounced as industrial. We are affecting the water supply by using it for industrial purposes. Moreover, we use the water supply not only for industry, but also for agriculture. And we have another new word, agriculture. It means the science or practice of farming. That's the meaning of the word agriculture. The word agriculture is a noun and it is stressed on the first syllable. When we turn it into an adjective, the stressed syllable is also changed and it is pronounced as agricultural. So we've just talked about two causes. The first one is that we are changing the environment and weather conditions by building cities and houses. The second one is that we are affecting the water supply by using it for agriculture and industry. The last cause comes from air pollution. We are destroying the air by adding pollutants to it. In this sentence, pollutant means a substance that pollutes. So we've just learned about the three causes that endanger our nature. Firstly, we are changing the environment and the weather conditions. Secondly, we are affecting the water supply by using it for the industry and agriculture. And the last one, we are destroying the air by adding pollutants to it. Now, let's start the second part which is the consequences of what we have done to nature. There are two serious consequences here. The first one is about the animals, and the second one is about the environment. Because we are killing animals for fur, for skin, and for food, some animals are becoming extinct. Extinct means no longer in existence. That's the meaning of the word extinct. It's the action of killing animals for fur and for food that has driven many species of animals to extinction. The second reason is that we are destroying nature. The word destroy is a verb. It means to damage something so badly. We've just mentioned the two serious consequences that we have to deal with. The first one is that the animals are becoming extinct, and the second one is that we are destroying the environment. Now, we'll come to the last part of our lesson today. It's about the measures and what we are going to do to protect our nature. It means some methods which people have been using to protect our nature. Let's look at this mind map. There are four measures that we have been implementing. The first measure is that the scientists established a list of endangered animals. And they also mentioned the solutions to save those animals. That is the red list. There are two other measures that people have been using to protect the environment. Many organizations have been set up and funds have been raised. Thousands of national parks all over the world have been established to protect endangered animals. In this sentence, there are two new words. First is establish, which means to create something. There's a synonym to this word, that is set up which means to start a new business. There are some examples I can show you, such as WWF, which means Worldwide Fund for Nature. Another example is IFAW, which means International Fund for Animal Welfare. 
And the last measure is that we have implemented to protect the environment is to introduce laws to prohibit the killing of endangered animals. Laws have been introduced to prohibit people from killing endangered animals. In this sentence, we have one new word, prohibit. It means to stop something from being done by using law. That's the meaning of the word prohibit. And there is a synonym, which means ban. There is one example, the Center for International Environmental Law. It is a law center that focuses on protecting the environment. That's the end of our lesson. Thanks for your attention. See you again in the next lessons of the Super Memory for Schools program.